Hey, I'm Andy, and for this duelist video, we're going to do a boss battle, and the boss battle this week is Cindera. So let's do our tried and true boss tech, and uh, as usual, I'll post the deck list in the description down below for those that are interested. Alright, so let's replace this Earth Sphere, though we might need it later, and what are the two war pups? Alright, a natural selection, I like that. And a grove line, which is good because we kind of need that force field. Uh, so it starts out with a Fireblaze Obelisk. 235 Frenzy. Your minions have Dying Wish. Deal 2 damage to all nearby enemies at the start of your turn. Teleport to a random location. So, uh, yeah, let's just natural selection this thing right out of the bat. And then we'll just move ourselves forward one our turn. Here we got a God Hammer. Alright, so yeah, the, the it's going to be annoying for the opponent because this isn't, I mean... The opponent's gonna teleport all around, so we can't really control that. And if you've seen one of my previous videos, you know that uh, teleporting is kind of annoying. So anyways, let's... we have 4 mana. Let's get rid of this ranged uh, first and foremost. So out of my face, I'm already at 20. But we do have 4 mana, so we can just do... Let's say a warp up here into a god hammer, and we'll just end our turn. Hopefully the opponent gets warped away. Or you can just uh, move not too far away. I mean, all of the all of this uh, real estate right here, but it moves right near us. That is random. Fire blazer five. I don't like that. So let's see. It's a two two. Let's just play a pterodon right there. Now we can just do our Bloodborne spell. And then we'll just end our turn. Or move this to the center. One our turn. Alright, next turn I can play the Grove line, but pretty sure. Well, the opponent can't attack me with the general, so that's good. Well, he still has a 5 5 Fire Blazer, which isn't good. We can get rid of it with the Grove Lion and then smack it in the face with the Fire Blade, uh, with our general damage. Assuming if it attacks, so. Yeah, we'll be at 13, but hopefully we can stabilize from there. A young Flame Wing, 5 4 Flyer. Alright, this, this seems like it's all pretty common um, standard cards. I haven't seen any rare cards or um, oranges or purples, but. Let's just play the Grove Lion back here. So we do have a force field. Let's just do three damage all around. I know I was going to bring this down to one, but uh, what can you do, right? And then let's just do... I can't attack because I already used the force field damage. Let's just move ourselves back. Move this up here. We'll attack the general for three. And we'll end our turn. Alright, another warp up. Gonna replace that. We also got an Earth Sphere, so we can also try and heal ourselves up. Although, he has enough things to kill the Grove Lion. I don't know if he's going to do that, but he is at 23. Incinera. I don't like that either, but he gives the opponent a lot of mobility. And a Flame Blood Warlock out of my face. There goes the God Hammer. But. Hopefully we can stabilize by using the Earth Sphere. And then we can just trade the Pterodon with the Syneria. And I can just throw the Warp up under the bus, but it does kill all three of these, so I will do that. I'll gladly do that. Move, our, move the Grove line a little bit farther away from the boss. And then we have three. I could have done, uh, could have done ten damage right there, but... I didn't see that until it was too late, so let's just play the warp up here, and then a Bloodborne spell, and then attack the general for 4. Or dark. Alright, a Thunder Horn. The opponent's at 16, we're at 18, so we do have the advantage right now. Just a matter of what the opponent's gonna do. Oh, I mean, the, the most expensive thing the opponent's... or the most rare thing is the, the blue, but... Still quite annoying with all the white cards and all the core cards, but uh, it is what it is. So let's see, we can do one, six, seven, eight. We can do twelve damage to the general right now. 
I don't know if that's good or not, but let's just do uh, this over here, move this down. We'll play it safe. Uh, move this up here. We'll play an Omni Seer here onto the Warp Up. We have four mana left, so we can just do a Thunderhorn here to block the Sun Elemental. We'll just attack the general for four and attack the general for one frenzy. And then we'll just end our turn. Alright, I'll grow. We're gonna replace that. Alright, so the Sindera is away from our general, so we can't do. We can't attack with our general, so. It is what it is, but he did use the. He attacked the Thunderhorn, which caused the opponent to go even down in health. Saber Spine Tiger. To trade with the Warp Up, okay. I, I mean, I think a, a normal player would have just gone for the Grove Lion, but it is what it is. Let's uh, replace this Grow. Now he had a Warp Up again, so let's just play the Warp Up here. And then. I, I'm gonna take two, but. Let's just do uh, kill this Void Hunter. That, yeah, that's dead. Uh, and then let's kill this Young Flame Wing. I'll take two damage, I'll be down to 16. And let's just do our Bloodborne spell. Then. Just amplification this so we can kill the Saber Swim before it attacks me. So we'll just attack that one we'll our turn. I mean, with the, with the Grove Line, we do have lethal. Just a matter of where the opponent's gonna teleport, probably in down there or some sort. Or, okay, uh, not too far away. We got another amplification. Depending on what happens, I might just have to replace it. Incinera. Alright, that's an Incinera. And a Lantern Fox. So, yeah, let's replace this amplification because we can't really use it on the Grove Line and we can't use it on the War Puff, so. That's, 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 nice, that's a nice diagonal. Well, let's replace the simplification. We get a Lava Slasher. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're just gonna go down here. Then overload ourselves. Then we can... And yeah, we'll just attack the general. And we'll just play a Lava Slasher here. Just to have minions out on the board. Primal Floors, so, the, yeah, it is, it is what it is. We do have the uh, opponent at one health, so we do have lethal. We can also just use the warp up to do lethal, or never mind. Yeah, it's blazing speed, I forgot about that because of the Incinera. So there goes the gold line. And then you're gonna kill the Zix, or kill it with the Zix, so. Yep. I might just have to use the Earth Sphere. It really depends on if we can get good teleports or not. So yeah, Incinera is dead. I am at 11, but we have to heal up. And another Lantern Fox. In two. A blue tip Scorpion. Double damage to minions. Now let's uh, Earth Sphere it up, move away from these minions, then we'll just go up here, do our Bloodborne spell, and we'll end our turn. Let's see where the opponent teleports to. And a Vision R. Alright, the opponent, I mean, we still can't touch the opponent, sadly, but we'll see what happens. The opponent is at 1, I don't know what's going to happen. But the uh, Lava Slasher will die to the Blue Tip Scorpion because of the, uh, the General's passive. Alright, there you go. We'll just play a Vision on the corner. A Chaos Elemental. Alright, let's move ourselves down. Then we'll just play a, a Vision Arch here, do our Bloodborne spell, end our turn. Although it might just, he might just target it with a Chaos Elemental. Oh! Okay, so we do have, we're, we're, we're within striking range. But the opponent does have one card so he can play a blocker. 
today he's gonna attack the vision R. There goes a vision R. I mean, I, I didn't really have any other place to put it other than the lantern fox, but this is what it is. Hopefully, the opponent didn't draw a minion and we can do lethal. Or, okay. Uh, AI logic there didn't play it as a blocker. Let's see what we get out if we replace the amplification. A natural selection, which doesn't really help, but uh, we can just do our Bloodborne spell and then swing at the general for 9. Weird that the opponent didn't play the minion as a blocker. I mean, the AI does do some questionable things in all the boss battles, but it is what it is. So yeah, that was the, the boss battle this week. Hope you enjoyed it, and like I said before, I'll post a deck that I used in the description down below for those that are interested. I mean, I don't think we would have survived had, if we didn't get those uh, those heals, but luckily we did, and we were able to uh, survive. It was annoying that the opponent was at one, but it is what it is. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.